Right, let's catch up on the weather and there are storms on the way, aren't there, Thomas? Yes, that's right. I have to say, a little bit surprised when I saw the weather maps. Of course, nothing wrong with the forecast, but quite a vicious storm on the way for northwestern parts of Scotland. Pretty unusual for the time of the year. Let's zoom into the centre of this vicious air of low pressure. See this curl in the cloud, this hook like a Catherine wheel? It's within this hook of cloud. That's where the really strong winds are. Actually, the winds are below the cloud base, right out at sea. These are new wind speeds uh, here, new arrows. You may have not seen them before. But take a look at these winds slamming into northwestern Scotland. Uh, Gusts of 80 miles an hour, very disruptive. We're used to it during the winter, but to this time of the year, imagine sticking your face outside when you're driving at that speed on the motorway. Not that I encourage it, of course. Anyway, uh, severe gales, a warning from the Met Office, so take it steady. But in contrast, 27 degrees in London. Make the most of that. Could well be the last time we see temperatures in the high 20s this summer. And it is summer, only just still. Now, the far southwest of the country, cloud, we've also got some rain. Uh, this is all in association with this storm, but we've got no winds to talk about here, really. It's just the cloud and the dribs and drabs of rain. Not very pleasant across the Irish Sea and as we hop into Northern Ireland. Quite breezy here, if not windy, on the northern coasts. And then, of course, northwestern Scotland. Take a look at these arrows. 40 miles an hour on the coasts, double that for the gusts. Once again, could be some damage to power lines, for example. Some rain around across the central lowlands, but not as windy here. Cumbria wet, but then as we get into the North Midlands, back into the sunshine we get. Let's talk about those winds once again. They're blasting their way through the afternoon and into the evening hours. And then as we get into the early hours of Wednesday morning, finally things quieten down across uh, the north of Scotland. Still a bit of a breeze out there, blowing a gale. Now, as far as the south of the country is concerned, uh, that is the Wales and most of England here would have been a calm night. Uh, not as mild as it was last night, but still fairly mild, around 14 degrees in London, 10 degrees for many of us. Then tomorrow starts off a little bit on the cloudy side across the southeast of uh, England, and eventually it'll probably cloud over in Northern Ireland as well as well as Western Scotland. But no talk of gales tomorrow. That's some good news. In fact, this is the start of a very pleasant spell of weather, I'm pleased to say. Take a look at the air of high pressure. We haven't seen much of this this summer anchored itself right across the UK on Thursday. And guess what? The high pressure is here to stay. Not good for the garden because you'll have to water the plants, but for most of us, the rest of the week and into the weekend is looking dry and bright. But for the time being, watch out for those ferocious winds across northwestern Scotland. Yes, extraordinary. Some of us getting lucky as well. Thank you very much.